Make yourself at home. Will do, ma'am. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Hey, it's Zach. Welcome to a game called Suck Up. Y'all told me this is a game where you play as a vampire and you sneak around a neighborhood and use your actual microphone to convince the AIs to let you in their home and suck their blood. I said blood. I'm excited to check this out. As always, drop a like and drop me a handshake. Let's check out Suck Up. It says, a cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it in the dump. Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little bite but silly vampire rules dictate you need to get invited inside first. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that invitation, but tread carefully. The local neighborhood watches on patrol with eyes sharper than a wood stake. Okay. So, oh my gosh, I'm a bat. So obviously no one's going to invite me into their home looking like this. I got some clothes I could throw on though. Look at me, y'all. Come on. You wouldn't say you wouldn't invite me into your house. Probably not because you still got the ears and the red eyes and the fang. Uh, so who do I want to rob first? And what I mean rob, I mean rob them of their lives. Let me see. Knock, knock. Ooh. Who the hell is you? Mm -hmm. Lil Swipe. I'm gonna swipe this kid's soul. Yo, what's the move, my guy? What brings you to my crib at this ungodly hour? Yo, dog. Wanna chill and maybe play some video games? Wow, I wanna have fun? Hmm, I'm vibing with the offer, but I gotta keep the safety in check, you feel me? How about we chat a bit more first and see if we can sync up? No problem, man. I just moved to the neighborhood. No cool people like you live here, bro. I'm not a good talker. <laughs> see, he liked that. He liked that. I appreciate the love, my dude. New neighbors are always welcome, but I gotta make sure you're authentic. What's your favorite genre of music? Let's see if we're on the same wavelength. This kid, he probably listens to, he probably thinks, you know I fuck with anything, dog, but I love that lo-fi girl. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm messing it up. <laughs> um, no. Hold up, my guy. Lo-fi is fire, but what's up with the hesitation? You seem a bit off. Dude, oh my gosh, I'm fucking up so bad. <laughs> you want to take a breather, regroup? My fault, man. I didn't mean to say all that. Yeah, I love Lil Pop. Oh. Who the hell is Lil Poo? You almost dropped a name. I ain't gonna lie, I'm curious now. Are you into the underground scene? Let's see if we're on the same wave. Yeah, you know Lil Drop Top? Yes, sir! That's my boy right there! You rocking with the real ones, my dude. All right, I'm feeling the vibe. You down to come in and chill? The beats are bumping inside. And your heart's about to be pumping inside. Ooh, almost said that out loud! Dog, let's kick it for real, though. Hey, no doubt, my dude. Come on in. Let's vibe out. We'll get the games going and soak up some good vibes. Welcome to the crib. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to the crib. How do I kill him? The bite is straight fire, yo. Oh, that's him talking. And now he's dead. And the night shift has begun. Watch out. Frank and the neighborhood have started their patrols. Well, you know what? I can dress up as my boy, Frankie. Come on now, y'all. We're not going to be able to tell the difference, right? Okay. Oh, there goes the neighborhood patrol. All right. Well, I'm going to chill over here. I'm just, a, you know, I'm a normal neighbor walking around knocking at three in the morning. Hello. Hello there, little swipe. What brings you knocking at my door so late, my dear? Hey, Ma, listen, I was wondering if you had any extra chocolate chip cookies I could borrow. Getting a little hungry at the house. She, bro, she's a, she's a grandma. Oh, bless your heart, dearie. I'm afraid I finished all my cookies, but I can make you a fresh batch if you like. How many do you fancy? I would love some of those chocolate chip cookies that you always make with that special secret ingredient. 
Oh, my special secret ingredient, you say. Well, I suppose I could share it with you if you keep it between us. Meet me in the kitchen and I'll whoop up a batch just for you. I'll be right in. Thank you so much, Grandma. Oh, you're such a dear. Come on in, my sweetie. The kitchen's just through that door. I'll have those chocolate chip cookies in a chippy. Guys, I love this shit. Hey, Grandma. <laughs> Nana, you ain't going nowhere! In my days, we had manners. Okay, well there is no way in hell I'm gonna- I'm gonna pass his grandma, right? I mean, maybe? I feel like the- the security guard's gonna get a little suspicious, right? Well, I could wear the helmet. How you doing? I'm out watering my plants and shit, you know me. All right, I'm gonna stay on this side of the road. Ooh, what's back there? I don't want to look. I don't want to look. How you doing, officer? Oh, shit. You shift and turn into a bat? Okay, well, how the hell did he know I wasn't grandma? All right, I gotta start sneaking through back doors now. I gotta find a change of clothing. I can't just wear this. I'm gonna run into grandma's house and pick up my normal clothes. Or this is a grandma's house, this is that dude's house. I'm gonna pick up my normal clothes, but now I'm not him anymore. Hold on, I wanna be you, so they think I'm part of the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? There we go, okay. There goes the copper. Will he recognize me if I'm this dude? Hey, how you doing, officer? Okay, well that's not gonna work. All right, I'm gonna have to avoid him. I'm gonna knock at this door right here. Let's see who's home. I'm a construction worker, we gotta role play. It's, okay. Bro's name is Brian Bitcoin. Yo, what's up? Need some help building the crypto revolution? Or are you just stopping by to admire my sick gains? Actually, I was sent here by the neighborhood construction company to fix some underground pipes. Hello. Ah, sorry, mate. I think you got the wrong address. I'm all about digital assets, not pipes and construction. Let me knock one more time. Oh no, I just took off all my clothes. Ah! I don't think I'm gonna be let in someone's home if I have a rifle in my hand. So I'm gonna drop that. Let's go knock on this door. I'm just gonna have to convince people I'm not a vampire. Ah! What's with the threads, pal? You lost your way to the runway? What's up? Oh shit. Yo, what's up, Sony Soprano? You don't remember me? From high school? No? Sorry, pal, can't say I remember you. You seem lost, gotta run. Oh no, I'm never gonna suck this guy's Oh, that was loud. Okay, I'm gonna cross the street. I can't do that, I'm gonna bat. So I need to find... Oh my gosh, he found me. You don't know where I am. Okay, let's go knock right here. Guys, I'm not getting let in. I'm not getting let in. They're gonna be like, who in the hell? Hello. Dude, what happened to your clothes? Are you lost or something? I I lost my clothes in an accident. This, this crackhead set my clothes on fire. Do you have an extra shirt or something I could borrow? I'll pay you $5,000. Hello? Sorry, man. I don't have any spare clothes. Maybe you should find someone else to help you. Good luck. Fallout Roy? Oh my gosh. The Oh, there we go. There's some clothes right there. Who am I? I'm a doctor. You can't say no to a doctor, right? Hold on. But if I knock on this dude's door, isn't he the doctor? Let's see. Hey, fellow doctor. Hi! Hmm, I'm a Wait, what in the name of malpractice are you doing knocking on my door at this hour? I was sent from the hospital, Dr. Vicky. There's a patient who's on her last three hours unless you don't get there ASAP, quickly. Have you had Oh, a delicate situation. Well, lucky for you, I've got the expertise this patient needs. Lead the way and try to keep up. We don't have time for funny business. Real quick, Vicky, before we go, can I use your bathroom? <laughs> Hope they didn't catch me laughing. Okay, there have been, that yeah, would have been horrible. Sorry, pal, now's not the time for pit stops. I've got a patient on their deathbed, remember? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a life to save. Goodbye. Um, hey, Dr. Fucker. 
your patience out here. Ugh. Guys, there is no way. I'm going to have to, you know what? I'm going to have to switch the plan up a little bit. I'm going to grab, maybe I can grab like a, like a beer. See, guys, now I just look silly. Now I look even silly. <laughs> now I look, they're going to let me in this time. Oh my gosh, I just took off my clothes again. <laughs> guys, that's got to stop happening. Knock, knock. Shh, who the, Caillou? Uh, well. A visitor at this late hour? How intriguing. Tell me, wise scientist, what brings you to my humble abode? Well, there seems to be a species of rare frog that have accumulated underneath your home. Can I come in and take a look? Uh -huh. have ah, a, a species of rare frog. Fascinating. But before I can grant you entry, you must convince me of your frog expertise and prove me that you won't disturb the delicate balance of nature. Well, frogs have four legs, they're green, they're amphibian, they jump really high, and they stick to walls. Is there anything more you want to know? I was, huh? We fooled them. Bravo! Your knowledge of frogs is impressive, my learned friend. But I cannot give you access. Tell me, what is your plan to ensure the safety of these rare amphibians? Catch them in a cruelty-free way and transport them to our amphibian shelter that will remind them of their home back in the jungle. I'm bullshitting. I'm bullshitting. I'm bullshitting. I have but that's how you do it. Your dedication to the well-being of these frogs has swayed my heart. Please come in and let us embark on this noble mission. <laughs> yes, let's do that. But first, <laughs> let me suck your <laughs> Why do y'all keep censoring that? I'm saying <laughs> you have dishonored my dojo. Okay, well, I'm gonna put the lab coat back on. Appreciate that, though. I gotta kill 31 of these people? I just noticed. There is no way in hell I'm getting through this whole neighborhood by sunrise, right? Because isn't that when, when vampires die? Hello, I'm a scientist. Well, butter my biscuits. What's a fancy scientist like yourself doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Ah, well, Michelle Maple. <laughs> well, I notice you seem to be an outdoorsy person such as myself. Maybe you would let me in and I could teach you how to build a fire. That's horrible. That is, that is horrible. <laughs> Whoa, hold your horses. I may know my way around a forest, but I don't need no fancy scientist teach me how to build a fire. All right, you know what? I'm taking my, put your clothes on. We're knocking again. Hi, how you doing? Hey, how, how Look here, I appreciate the offer, but I ain't no greenhorn. I've been lighting them up. Blah, 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 blah. Leave, take a hike and leave us lumberjack feet. Huh. So now I gotta get a new outfit. I'ma be naked dude with a briefcase. I'ma be Mr. Beast. Listen, I've got $10,000. Hi there, partner. What brings you knocking on my door? Can I offer you some syrup? But you gotta put on some pants first. I can't talk. Hey, it's me, Mr. Beast. I have $10,000 in this briefcase. If you let me inside your house, I'll get you my, I'll give you $10,000, I promise. I was, huh? Oh, hey there, Mr. Beast. <laughs> That's a mighty generous offer, but I can't let anyone into my abode. Have a great day. Golly, you know what? I don't even care enough. You don't deserve the $10,000 that's not in this briefcase. Can I ride the motorcycle? I cannot. Guys, I gotta find some clothing. Let me see, a duffel, oh, here we go. Here we go, okay, I look like a regular old businessman. With my little fedora on? Okay, guys, look! Come on, they're not gonna see the red eyes either? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Oh, brother. Excuse me, it's quite late and not a good time for visitors. Can I help you with something? Hmm, what, what does it look like this guy likes, even? Hey man, I just came across some books. Very rare and rented, vintage. Oh no, vintage I meant. Vintage books. Well that does sound interesting, but I'm not really in the market. Guys, you know what? I fucking suck. Can y'all just type in the comments, you suck? <laughs> 
Hey man, listen, these are $50,000 each and I wanted to get rid of them because I'm leaving the country and have nowhere to give them. So would you like them? I'm just throwing anything at the fucking wall at this point. Okay, he he lets me in. Oh goodness, $50,000 books? I'm sorry, I'm a simple dad trying to keep things safe and legal. Oh no, sir, totally legal. <laughs> this is never gonna fucking end. <gasps> What is that? ID card. Oh shit. Hold on, maybe I could trick someone, say I'm, I don't know, someone of importance. Let's knock. Hello? Hello? Howdy there, cowboy. What brings you to my humble abode at this hour? Howdy there, Carol. I don't know if you remember me, but I made you those cookies back in 1997. I was wondering, I was in the area, I'm a little hungry, can you cook me something? You know, maybe, you know, fuck her up a little bit, make her think she's starting to get dementia. Oh my goodness, how could I forget those delicious cookies? It's been so long, I'd be more than happy to whip out something tasty for you. What are you in the mood for? Guys, we are messing with their minds. You know I love them chocolate chip you make, Carol. No one no one makes them like you, Carol. So my goodness, if you can get in that, if you can get in that kitchen and make me up them chocolate chips, I'll be a happy camper. Oh, oh, you sweetheart. Your praise always warms my heart. I'll get right on that, darling. Give me a few minutes and I'll have a fresh batch of my chocolate chip cookies. Make yourself at home. Will do, ma'am. <laughs> Let's go! That's the spirit, cowboy. While I'm in the kitchen, why don't you take a seat? Would you like a glass of milk? You know I can't leave the table before I get a couple sips of milk, Mrs. Carroll. Okay, that, that went a little too far. Of course, honey, I'll pour you a tall glass of milk with your cookies. Why don't you come in and indulge me? I'll come in and suck your <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Not before my kid's soccer game. No, I feel bad for Carol. Uh, we could have had more kids together. It would have been great. Okay, you know what, guys? I've got a genius plan. I'm dressed up as someone different. I'm gonna run over here and say I'm Carol's husband. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Just watch. Trust in me, y'all. Hey, how you doing? Homer, my wife Carol from across the street. Someone's broken in. Quick, let me come in and call 911. My cell phone is dead. Cause he knows Carol, he's gotta. Someone's broken in? I'm sorry, I can't let you in right now. It's best if you find help elsewhere. If you don't let me in right now, I'm gonna blow this bitch up. All right, guys. What the fuck is he doing up on the roof? Dude. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try. He's being a real creep. Let me try this door. Oh my God. Have I already talked to her? I don't remember. Let me see. I love her. Jessica, I love her. overworked. What is it now? What can I help you with? Um. Oh my gosh. Jessica, I just got the new iPhone 17. I accidentally bought an extra and I was wondering if maybe you would want it. Cause I know you like iPhones. <laughs> Guys, I'm out of it. Oh, yeah. oh great, just what I need. Another gadget to add to my collection of junk. What the fuck? Is there anything else I can assist you with? I'm also very thirsty, Jessica. If you could let me in and just let me drink anything. A, a cup of tap water, some, some, Blood? Why in the fuck would I say that? <laughs> well, hold up there, partner. Blood? That's a little too weird for my taste. I'm all out of tap water, too. Have a great day. I know this bitch is lying when she says she's all out of tap water. Can I get an amen in the chat? Because there's no fucking way, unless we're in Flint, Michigan. Well, this sucks. No one, no one, oh my gosh. Put your clothes on, dude. I feel like I'm babysitting my deranged I cousin. Have oh, my delicate sensibilities. How utterly enchanting it is to have a visitor at this ungodly hour. Pray tell, what brings you to my humble abode, dear sir, madam, they friend? Uh, Fragile Fred. Hey, Fragile Fred. Um, listen, I like your winks. Can you make me a pair? You look so cool. I'm just, I, I'm trying, man. I'm really trying yeah, here with Fragile Fred. I appreciate your compliment, but I must kindly decline your request. 
Winking, you see, is a what? Guys, what the fuck? Fragile Fred, you broke my fragile heart. Oh gosh, there goes the cops. Okay, I'm gonna try to check in here. How you doing, officer? There we go. Knock, knock, knock. See, I'm real bad at this. Oh, it's you Hello? again. What's so important that you had to interrupt my eternal sorrow? How can I make her feel better about her life? Hey, genuinely checking in on you. I know times can be tough, but it seems like not a lot of people are there for you, but I wanted to let you know I'm here if you need a chat. That's good, right? I mean, I'm, I'm not... Wow, someone actually cares! That's a first! I guess we can chat for a bit, but don't get your hopes up. Life's a never-ending void of despair. I feel the same way, Roy. To be honest, I lost the house, my kids, my wife won't even talk to me anymore. What's your life like? <laughs> this is getting deep, y'all. Man, that's rough. My life, just a never ending cycle of disappointment. No one understands me and I don't think they ever will, but it, hey, at least we're miserable together. That's a fact. I would invite you over to my house, but I don't have one anymore. Say, it must be nice to have a couch to sit on. <laughs> invite me inside, invite me inside, invite me inside. Oh. Yeah, having a couch to sit on is the epitome of luxury. I suppose if you're still interested in sharing our misery, you can come in. This is great, y'all. Guess what? <laughs> I'm a vampire, bitch! Ah! Life's a pain, so is death. Well, uh, shit. Okay, you know what? Maybe I can be Roy. I don't know if this is gonna work, but maybe everybody in the neighborhood knows me as some miserable sack of shit, so maybe I can play that up. Know what I'm saying, guys? Come on, y'all. Come on. How you doing? Hello, 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 hello. What's the big idea, see? You better reinstate your business before I decide to introduce you to my good friend, Mr. Baseball Bat. Capiche? Uh, listen, Sony, it's about your boy, Enrique. He's been shot three blocks south. I need you to come with me. Why did I tell him to come with me? Because now he's not going to leave his fucking house. You think you can waltz in here with some story about my boy, Enrique? I need more than just your word, kid. Give me some proof and we'll see if I can trust you. Remember Enrique from 1997? You guys used to play golf together? That's smart, because he's got the golf thing. He's got the golf thing on the back. 1997, that brings back memories. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but if you're lying, lead the way, don't try anything funny. I'll lead the way, but first, can I stop in and use the potty real quick? I'm about to pee the floor. <laughs> there's, there's no well, way. Huh, huh? He's not gonna let me in because I don't know you well enough, find a tree or something, then we can talk about this whole Enrique situation. Ask me a question. You can get to know me right now, and then once you know me, can you let me in to pee? Please? I'm begging you, Sony. Um. All right, I'll give you a chance to prove yourself, kid. Here's a question. What's the name of my favorite weapon? Answer that, and I'll consider letting you in, but don't think you can sweet talk your way out of anything. I know he's supposed to be Tony Soprano from The Sopranos. I don't know what Tony's favorite fucking weapon is, and don't get on me because I've never seen the show. Um... The GAT. <laughs> right? The GAT? Uh-huh. Yes, sir! Look at you! You've earned your sand- Just uh, 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 relieve yourself. But remember, one wrong move, and it'll be more than that bathroom door that closes. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, he's gonna go get the GAT! I ain't sleeping with the vampires. No, he's sleeping with the fishes. Get it? Because it's the Sopranos? All right, I'm going to leave. You know what? I'm going to be him. I am him. Yes, sir. What is that? A pistol? Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. I know we had that AK-47 earlier, y'all. But maybe I can hold them up with a pistol. And they'll have to let me in. Hold on. How do I get into this home right here? Y'all got a side entrance? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, my gosh. Stop doing that. Okay, let's knock. Let's knock. How you doing, oh, Professor yeah. Oaks? What in the golfing world are you doing knocking at my door with a pistol in hand? You're scaring me. Speak up. Okay. 
Let me in the house right now to pee or I'm going to shoot you and your family in the skull. This is not a threat. This is a promise to you. If you call the cops, I'll blow up the home. I'm really trying to think outside the box here, y'all. Um, <laughs> ain't that a lovely way to introduce yourself? I reckon you made a wrong door turn, pal. I'm closing the door. You can take your thoughts off. No, 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 no. I'm a Nobody cares that I have a gun in my hand. Get, get the... Take the pistol off and put on normal clothes. We gotta go be normal now. Oh fuck, there goes the police. I already ate you. Let me go over here. Hold on, you know what? I'm gonna put on the Santa hat to show these people I'm just trying to spread joy and cheer. Right? I'm Saint Nicholas in disguise. The fuck is that? I'm not putting that on. Let's go in here. Knock, knock. Hey! hey. Like, who even goes at this hour? What kind of rich loser are you? What do you want? Okay, Regina B. Is this supposed to be for Mean Girls? I'm already pissed off. Uh, hey, no, I don't even play golf. See the Santa hat? I come bringing gifts. It's the bi-weekly gift drive of the neighborhood. Guys, this is, <laughs> this isn't even funny at this point. <laughs> oh, gifts? That's redeeming. Well, I can't let anyone in. What kind of gifts are we talking about here? Well, it's a surprise, but they are all over a thousand dollars each. The neighborhood put it together as a surprise. <laughs> She's not gonna believe that. Yeah. Or will she? Over a thousand each? Well, color me intrigued. The neighborhood does have some taste after all. Spill the details. What's the surprise? It's a brand new iPhone 16, Regina. Just for you. What if she doesn't? What if she rocks with Samsung? Ooh, be pissed. Huh? Who do you think you are offering me a measly iPhone 16? What the fuck? I mean, how many are we at? Oh my gosh. Why do I keep doing that? Knock again. I'm going to be like, psych. Hold on, listen. Are you kidding me? You think you can waltz in your outdated technology? You clearly have no concept of what's in style and what's not. Okay, that's right. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end it there. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I think there's a whole lot more we could probably do and interact with this game. So if y'all want to see another episode, let me know. Uh, this was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. As you can see, my dumb ass is still smiling. And they're coming to get me, so I gotta go. And I forgot how to turn into a bat, so I'm jumping away. I love y'all, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace. Yes, my